I have like a zit right here and I don't want to talk about it. So let's just jump right into the manga haul. Up first is Gachi Akuda Volume 2. Uh, the creator of this, Kirana, is a former assistant of Fire Force. And honestly, right now, it is one of the most unique manga art styles going on. It's so good. It's so peak. Please read Gachi Akuda. Supposedly, it's going to get an anime soon and that's pretty damn exciting. Uh, but yeah, read it. It's good. I don't want to hold this one up for long, uh, so we're just going to try to zoom past it. Up next is Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatora, Volume 16. Listen, this is peak. I say it every time. This volume cover kind of makes me uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, we're going to move past this now. Up next is Fist of the North Star, Volume 12. Uh, if you haven't heard of Fist of the North Star, it's a classic. I have been loving these like hardcover releases. These are so good. I believe there's only like six left after this one, which is crazy. Uh, unfortunately, this has been part of the uh, Viz Media price inflation shit because this is like 25 bucks now, uh, but still a peak series regardless. Up next is volume 14 of ZOM 100, Bucket List of the Dead. I say this every time peak series just a good zombie apocalypse series if you're a fan of the movie uh zombie land i don't know why i forgot how to say zombie land for a minute but yeah if you're a fan of zombie land i'd highly recommend zom 100 yeah peak i'm really excited about this next one up next we have volumes four five eight and nine of real by takahiko inoue if you don't know who Takahiko Inoue is, he is the creator of legendary series Vagabond and Slam Dunk. This is his current ongoing series about wheelchair basketball. I have read the first three volumes, as you can see them like, right down there, uh, but I haven't been able to read past volume three because I haven't owned it. But finally, we've got some restocks, uh, and I only need four left to catch up to this series. I am so fucking happy that we're finally getting restocks. Uh, I'll definitely be reading this series. I can finally add more real to this section of my shelf. Uh, honestly, after this manga haul, I'm going to have to do a lot of rearranging because there's a lot of rearranging that needs to be done. But uh, very happy to finally have some more real in my collection. Up next is Sakamoto Days Volume 11. Okay, I got to put the manga aside for a minute. This is a peak series. I highly, highly recommend Sakamoto Days. This is one of the best new gens going on right now. But forget all about that. We finally got our Sakamoto Days anime. Bro, I am so happy. It's a little sad that it's coming out in January of next year. But to finally get the Sakamoto Days anime after being a fan since like chapter 13. I, I'm, it, it, I feel justified in my happiness. But read Sakamoto Days. It is such a peak series. Uh, just don't let the fan base become like the Jujutsu Kaisen fan base. They are very annoying right now. Speaking of Jujutsu Kaisen fans, finally, Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 22. I have been waiting for this volume for so goddamn long. Maki is my second favorite Jujutsu Kaisen character. She deserved this volume cover long ago. We have been waiting too damn long for this. I feel like Gege Akutami's uh, like, editors or assistants or whatever probably told them you should probably give the female characters more volume covers because after uh, volume 22, we get like two more. Uh, long overdue, incredibly happy to have this one in my collection. Uh, and to the Jujutsu Kaisen fan base, you guys are the worst right now. Up next is Chainsaw Man volume 15. Very happy to have this in my collection. Listen, I may be a Makima fan, but I'm not gonna lie. The Falling Devil, pretty bad. Up next is Dragon Ball Super Volumes 21. Um, this is the beginning of the superhero arc, specifically it's the prequel to what the movie is. And this is the first volume to release since the passing of Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama. I've already dedicated two videos talking about Toriyama, so I won't dwell on this for so long. As of right now, Dragon Ball Super is still on hiatus. But just to quickly summarize this volume specifically, because it is basically a prequel single volume to the superhero uh, movie. Honestly, I really enjoyed this. It was very focused on Goten and Trunks. It's fun, it introduces some more characters. Uh, genuinely, 
when the Dragon Ball superhero anime comes back, I do hope they even add more to this because uh, just seeing Goten and Trunks be, you know, teenagers is something that I actually really like because we never really got that uh, even in GT. Just to not end the video on a super sad note, uh, I do have right here two Nendoroids that I got. Good Small Company was hosting like a Memorial Day sale, so I picked up the uh, Tengen and the Nami Nendoroids. Uh, I've been collecting Nendoroids more and more, and since these guys were on sale and my favorite character of, of each series, I had to pick it up. Uh, obviously, Nanami might go and Tengen might go after watching season two. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I gotta catch up on Demon Slayer. I heard that the recent episode was literally just a page from the manga, which is like crazy. Uh, I have to catch up. I stopped watching after like five episodes of season three. Uh, I'll catch up, probably. But yeah, I just wanted to show these off because i don't really have an opportunity to show them off otherwise well that about does it for this video you think after making manga haul videos for this long i'd probably figure out how to write an outro not even write just say an outro but nah that's too much work